Hey everyone, in this video let's create a cool point cloud text effect which is animated as well using a quick and simple geometry node setup. So let's get started. So starting with the text setup, press shift A and add text and I'm gonna use the G key to bring it to the middle. After that rotating it by 90 degrees so it's front facing towards the camera. I have a very simple lighting and camera setup already which I go in depth in this other tutorial which I'll link it in the bio. Now go to the edit mode and write the text that we want and in the text setting we can add some extrude to it to add some depth to the text. Also adding some bevel as well so the corners of the text are rounded. Next we can change to a cool font. I'm using this Panjang font from Fontshare which you can check out as well. And for the last thing adding some spacing between each letter as well using the character spacing. Now I'm pressing Shift to duplicate and write the other text that I want to include as well and adjusting it according to the camera. After that, selecting the text, press space or F3 to open the search bar and I'm searching for convert to mesh and the shortcut for that is Alt C. After converting both the text into meshes, we can join them as well by pressing Ctrl J or searching for join as well. If we go to the wireframe mode, we can see the geometry is not so uniform so we are gonna use remesh to fix the geometry. So let's go to the modifiers and search for the remesh modifier. After applying it to the text, make sure voxel method is turned on and turn off the smooth shading. For the voxel size, I'm gonna switch it to 0.005 which will give it a lot of geometry. If it's a bit too much, we can switch to 0.009 as well. As we can see, we have a uniform geometry on our text so we can go ahead and apply the remesh on the text. So this completes a text setup. Now we can get started with geometry nodes to create the point cloud effect. Switching this bottom window to the geometry node setup. Press plus to create the geometry node base. The first thing that we're gonna add is distribute point on face. So press shift A and go to the search and search for distribute point on faces. I'm gonna drop it between our node setup and as we can see the text is converted to the point clouds. If we increase the density the number of point clouds will also increase on our text. The second thing that we're gonna add is set point radius. So search for that and add it in front of the distribute point. And this one's gonna control the thickness of the point clouds. As we can see in the video, the radius and the number of point clouds will create different results and we can play around with that. I wanna keep a balance between both. So for density, let's go for 800 and I'm gonna change the point radius to be 0.03. As we can see, our text is converted to point clouds. For the next node, we can add the set material node which will control the material that is applied on our point cloud setup. Changing this upper window to the shader editor, I'm gonna create a quick material for our text here but as we can see, changing the color here is not updating in the view. We have to make sure that the same material is selected in our node as well. I'm happy with this white material so I'll just switch to this material for now as it looks cool on our text setup. The next node that we're gonna add at the end is the set position node which will add some distortion to our point cloud setup here. So to add distortion, let's add a noise texture as well and I'm gonna plug the factor into the offset here of the set position. As we can see in the view, the text is out of position and have a lot of distortion on it. So to fix that, let's search for a vector match node and add it in front of a noise texture. Making sure it's set to add and we have to change all these values to be minus 0.5. And as we can see, it'll bring the text back to its original position. To fix the distortion, we're gonna add another vector match node and plug it in front. But this time we're gonna switch it to multiply. And as we can see, the distortion is fixed. This node set to multiply will actually control all the distortion on the x-axis, y-axis and the z-axis as well on our point cloud. Just play around with the setting and add a bit of noise on all these three axes as I've done in the video. And after that we can go back to the noise texture. We can decrease the scale a little bit so the distortion is not too much and the text is also easily readable. I'm gonna increase the detail here as well uh, as we can see how it looks fit and without the details added. You can play around with all these other settings as well and once you're happy with it, we're gonna switch this 3D option to 4D and a new W node will appear and this will be the one that will help us create the animation. As we can see, I'm moving this W node and the point cloud is getting animated. Once again, we can update this distortion level anytime to create some cool and different looking results. This completes the point cloud setup and and now we can add some animation to it as well. 
I'm gonna switch this upper window to Dobshir and bring it back to the first frame. So in the first frame, press I key to create a keyframe for the W node. Then go to the end of the timeline and increase the value in the W node. Pressing I again to create another keyframe will create a cool and simple animation. Once again, we can change the material, the radius and the density of our point cloud setup to create cool and different looking results. And this is how the final animation looks like. So if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to hit this next goal of 1000 subscribers. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.